people and in this video I'll show you how. So my name's Steph, I teach lucid dreaming and sleep hacks, sleep tips, that kind of thing. And I'm often asked by people, especially video gamers or people that maybe work night shifts or stay up late, how can I fall asleep faster and more easily? Specifically, how can I fall asleep in just a few seconds? People want it instantly. Okay, so I will explain exactly how to do that in this video. Now, this is a technique that the military actually use because the military often have to fall asleep, firstly, very quickly, but also in stressful situations, maybe they have like a really intense physical activity session or a watch or something, or even like a, a battle or something stressful. And then they need to fall asleep quickly, ready to wake up early again the next morning. And they need to do this all very efficiently and without feeling tired the next day. So they have developed or they use this technique that I'm gonna share with you right now to fall asleep in just a few seconds. So the first thing you need to do is just to relax your entire upper body, specifically your face and your mouth. We carry a lot of tension in our neck, in our mouths and in our shoulders. So focus just firstly on those things and relax them really deeply. By the way, after I've explained this military technique, I'm also gonna share with you some other things to make it even more effective, some things you can do during the day and also before you go to sleep as well. But let's just carry on with the technique for how to fall asleep in five seconds. So you relax your face, your shoulders, your muscles, okay? And then you wanna focus on dropping your shoulders down. So as you've noticed, as I'm talking, sometimes I actually hold my shoulders up and we all do this subconsciously we hold our shoulders up and even when we're sleeping or going to sleep your shoulders will subconsciously move in order to mirror what you're thinking about let's say if you're imagining uh, you, you're trying to go to sleep and you're thinking about all these different things you're thinking sometimes I visualize like climbing things right so I might subconsciously my shoulders will start moving really small movements uh, as, as I'm visualizing climbing something so you need to really consciously focus on dropping your shoulders down really relaxing your shoulders keep your face relaxed Relax, you're, you're breathing deep and, and regular. And then you want to focus on your chest. So it's sort of like stages that you can go through. Each stage you can spend no more than two or three seconds doing. So you focus first on your face, your muscles, then your shoulders, you drop your shoulders down. Then you exhale everything from your lungs. As much air as you can, you exhale and get rid of that air. And then once you've done that, you focus on your lower body, your legs. We actually do move our hips in very small movements. Uh, I don't know if, if you guys do this, but it's been found that people very slightly move their hips as well as their shoulders when they're sort of thinking about things when they're trying to fall asleep. Maybe you're visualizing running, you're visualizing walking, or even just having a physical reaction to something you're thinking about. Let's say if you're thinking about a conversation with someone you don't like you will subconsciously move your body in tiny ways to move away from the conversation or you'll tense up when you visualize or imagine them saying something you don't like or that would annoy you. So once you've focused on relaxing your lower body and your legs, now you're going to focus on visualizing a relaxing scene for just 10 seconds, just for 10 seconds. And you're probably thinking, well, hold on, this title said how to fall asleep in five seconds. You will fall asleep in five seconds once you've done these things. So the total processing time, the total sort of time for you to do this technique is roughly two to three minutes, okay? You can spend a few seconds on each stage, but it's still gonna get you to fall asleep pretty quickly, very quickly, I would say. So you focus on relaxing scene. This can be a beach. I like to focus on walking through a forest. You know, one of those forests where the trees are really, really far apart. So you can kind of, you've got lots of space to walk around. You can see birds flying, really peaceful. So picture a scene that you would like to walk through and then visualize yourself walking through that scene really slowly, just for 10 seconds. That's all you need to do it for. You'll be able to fall asleep pretty quickly after your intense video gaming session. I don't know if any of you are video gamers, but. And now once you've done all of that, now the final stage, this is where you can fall asleep in just five seconds. So you need to repeat something over and over to yourself. Things like, I am asleep or stop thinking. Those two things you repeat over and over again, roughly 10 to 20 seconds, as fast as you can think or imagine them. And you'll find that you fall asleep pretty quickly, usually within five seconds. Maybe it will take you two minutes to fall asleep. It really depends on uh, a few different things, but I'm gonna get into, as I said in a minute, some tips that you can do in the daytime to make it even faster. And that is the technique the military use to, to fall asleep, basically in five seconds or less. And sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes two minutes, sometimes five minutes. It really depends on a few things, but here are some ways to make it even more effective and to make yourself fall asleep even faster. So it starts with a daytime practice. What are you gonna do during the day and also leading up to when you fall asleep in the evening? This is really important and pay attention here because this will make a big difference to how fast you can fall asleep. So firstly, your room. You need to do a few things. Firstly, don't do anything other than sleeping in your room if you can. So don't work in your room, don't video game in your room if you can, if it's possible, uh, because this will subconsciously train you to associate your room with sleep. That's really important. Next in your room, make sure that when you are trying to sleep, there are no lights, no LED 
LEDs on in the corner, no weird sounds, no whirring noise from your computer, and everything is quiet and dark. Really important that it's quiet and dark. And then make sure that you've blocked out all of the light from the door. There are no cracks of light that are gonna show if someone else in your house you know, comes and turns a light on outside. You don't want that light to then shine through into your room. And then something which a lot of people overlook is to ensure that underneath your bed, there is nothing blocking airflow to your mattress, okay? The sleep uh, quality is massively dependent on your temperature throughout the night. If you've got loads of junk under your bed, it's stopping the airflow coming up through your mattress and basically regulating your temperature. That's why beds are raised above the ground because they are designed to allow airflow through the slats of the bed through the mattress to keep you cool. If you've got loads of stuff there, it stops the airflow, you overheat and you, best case scenario, you don't have a very good night's sleep. Worst case scenario, you overheat and wake up. So that's the bedroom setup done. Now there are some tips that you should also focus on. So this is specifically in the few hours before you go to sleep. You don't wanna eat anything big or heavy and you don't wanna have any stimulants, kind of goes without saying, but you know, caffeine, sugar, alcohol, uh, tobacco. These things will keep you awake. And then right as you're going to sleep, and if you're having trouble falling asleep, and let's say if you've woken up at 2 a.m., I don't know what time you try and fall asleep, you guys, but let's say if you're trying to sleep and it's 2 or 3 a.m., you know you've got to be up for school or work in the morning, and you're just trying to fall asleep, basically. Do not look at the time. In fact, put your phone far away from your bed, so you can't even check the time, even if you wanted to, because every time you check the time and realize you're not sleeping yet, it's gonna be more stressful, and you're gonna realize the stress is gonna keep you up longer, because you'll be having this loop going on in your head where you check the time, you realize it's late, you realize you should be asleep by now, you panic and then you realize even more awake now I can't fall asleep and it's sort of like a vicious cycle that keeps on going on so put your phone away make sure you can't see the time and just lay there motionless and if you need to just go through these this cycle the military technique the five second technique again and again until it works it might not work the first time but keep trying it and also pay attention the next day as you go on like, let's say if you have trouble falling asleep every day you can do these things the following day to make it more likely that you'll fall asleep then so I hope you enjoyed this uh, but don't click away just yet because if you do want to fall asleep you need to basically science has said that you need to either like or comment on this video otherwise you will get sleep paralysis